pretty much any day after World Championships when we got upset, it was training for this one reason. It was to make the Olympic team and at the time just make the trials and then also getting ready to come here and win our spot still. So it's been with COVID a year and a half of struggle and really pushing through and getting better. And I think as a team, USA was able to finally come through and uh, years of hard work paid off for the team. What a finish <laughs> from the USA. And yes, Jack was the Definitely yell. after the semifinal match was a relief because coming off the line, it was, you know, all the emotions of training hard for that one purpose and being on the team and then not going to Tokyo was definitely a fear and it would suck to be that close and then it not happen so I think all of us knew what was on the line. I've been on a lot of stages, Brady's been on a lot of stages, and Jacob's been on a lot of stages so we all know how it goes and we were able to make those quick calls and quick adjustments whether it be a little bit wind difference or something and really communicate well as a team. And Brady being the first up, he has to go out and make a good call, but we've all kind of come to an understanding of trusting each other. So if Brady's at full draw and I see something in this flag just switch 180, I, and I go Brady aim right eight, he, he knows, okay, move it over, good shot, and it'll be a 10. He knows to trust me, it's just like I know how to trust him and Jacob and how to hit the middle in the conditions that we have. I've known Jacob for a long time. When he came back, I was happy and I knew he was an old time good shooter. So I knew he could get back to it. And in our trials, we all shot 680s during our qualification round. So I think after that point, I knew this was gonna be a good team. A 10, we'll do it. Yes. You have really impressed me today. 58 is out of reach for Indonesia. After what we did here at this stage and the level that we shot, I think we can definitely be considered favorites. I don't see it more as pressure to continue a run. I see it as a drive to finally get gold. USA was so close both times. I think it's time that you know, push for the gold. Going through the games as if we're going to win and then eventually it will happen.